Hi everyone, uh, I'm kind of dressed in a very summerish dress. It's a great balmy day here in Hong Kong. I wanted to cook outside uh, because of the dish I'm making is a, has got a Spanish twitch or a twist to it. And uh, the dish I'm going to make today is egg curry. Now you're going to say what's so unique about egg curry. Well, that's the twist in the tale that I have for the dish that I'm going to make today. So for those of us who grew up in India, if you remember going to Kolkata, which was then Calcutta, either from my home state of Guwahati or you're taking the Rajdhani from New Delhi, there's a unique egg curry you used to get in the train, you know, fried and lots of oil with potatoes and this new beautiful Indian spice called Pachforan or the five spices. It was very unique to West Bengal. And then you go up north and then you get this very dry uh, tomato based sliced onion egg curry on the dhaba. Dhaba, by the way, is the, you know, the closest analogy would be the Indian Highway Inn, if you will, but you cannot compare those two. Great food. So that was kind of the northern twist of, of the tomato, of the egg curry. And I happened to be in Madrid in 2007, and I was at the Piazza in Madrid, and we ordered this thing called egg curry. No, they didn't call it curry. It's egg, boiled egg with red wine sauce. Amazing. So what I'm going to do with the twist in this egg curry is I'm going to blend all three. I'm going to take up these spices of West Bengal, which is the patch foreign, the five spices. I'm going to cook it with tomato and sliced onion, which is really the northern uh, part of India's way of cooking. But I'm going to present it in the way I found it to be presented in the Spanish egg with red wine sauce. So it's kind of the blend. So that's why I'm attired this way today. So let's get to the cooking bit. All right, so now let's get to the cooking part. So let me first take you through the ingredients. Uh, we've got uh, the tomato, uh, the sliced tomato, the diced tomato here. We got the sliced onion, the northern style. Then we got garlic, minced garlic. Then we got two red chili, which will go with the patch foreign, which is the eastern style. And we obviously have to have turmeric and a little bit of tomato paste to add the zinc and uh, we will start cooking now. Okay, I'm going to add the mustard oil into the pan. Um, again, because I'm cooking outside, I'm doing it on a hot plate. Uh, I got to have my skewer here, spreading the oil a little bit. <clears throat> Remember, this is, this is cooked northern and eastern style, but it will be presented in the uh, in the Spanish way that I found. I found a very good presentation and the way it was presented. So I'm gonna put these uh, kind of dry red chili and I'm gonna put the parch foreign, which is the five Indian spices, kind of a handful. It'll start to crackle. That's kind of uh, one tablespoon. Stir it a little bit so that it starts to crackle a bit. <coughs> and then I'm going to add this one. This is this is the northern style because in the east they don't use it this way. They basically put it, they chop the onion. So this is you'll see what it does to the curry later. Yeah? So I'm going to let it fry and get brown. It, it would wait to get it brown as I cook this. Okay. All right, now the onion, as the onion is slightly browning out, is the time when I'm going to put the garlic, the minced garlic, a handful, you know, kind of three tablespoonish. Uh, so that the garlic goes in there. I'm going to stir it. The garlic has to kind of fry up a little bit, it adds to the fragrance with the pot foran, the onion. This is really beautiful. So once the uh, garlic is kind of, you know, gets in there, I put a little bit of turmeric. Again, kind of one teaspoon, if you will. So that's going to lower the heat a little bit. Oh, should I switch it off? All right, so this is looking good. And this is the stage where I will add the tomato. 
and salt to taste. And again, you know, I'm gonna do the uh, I'm gonna do the salt test when I when I make it into a little bit of a curry. -ish. So this is. The, I'll cook the tomato so I'll make it into, and this is when I add the tomato paste handful of tomato paste you can buy this in any supermarket it doesn't have to be brand specific and so the turmeric and the tomato the color it adds is a beautiful color so this is done and what i'm going to do i'm going to let it fry a little bit more and then simmer it with warm water all right this is looking good this is when i'm going to do my initial salt test just take the onion a little bit with the chopstick i'll add a little bit more salt it's got a tangy garlicky you know Easterly, northerly flavor. It's okay. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is take hot water, which is going to keep boiling, as I said. Always use hot water. I'm going to put this in there. And I'm going to... So I'm making, I'm actually making the sauce. This is, this is that, you know, now, now the, now the secret. This is that Spanish red wine sauce. But this is made with Indian spices, right? So, so they use the same onion, but they kind of use red wine. And I said, you know what? Why not make it the Indian way and present it the Spanish uh, way? So I'm gonna add a little bit more water. The onion needs to cook. I'm gonna lower the flame, and I am going to simmer this for about three minutes. The whole cooking time is about 10, 15 minutes. I'm sweating because it's hot. And then I will put it and take the last step of the presentation. Uh, so this is like the Spanish red wine sauce, but the Indian way of making it with all Indian spices. And we present it the Spanish way. Let it simmer and we come back. Okay, so this has been simmering now for about five minutes. So it's, it's, it's done. So that's the sauce. Now I'm going to do the presentation. So here I have another of my La Crusette where I have already got the egg, right? So these are fully boiled eggs, sliced in half and laid on. This is exactly what I saw uh, in, that, uh, in that Spanish restaurant. And therefore I tried, decided to make this little bit of a twist in the tail, right? And all you do is to pour this there evenly, right? You just pour it evenly. You know, and then you just shake it a bit. Spread it out so the egg covers it. And what I'm going to do, just before serving, this is done, right? So just before serving, I'm going to kind of power heat it, which means high flame and done. So this is it. It's there. It's just, it, and as you keep it for about, say, you know, if you make it around 4 o'clock, 5, or have your dinner around 6 30 ish, 7 ish, by the time, the juice gets into the yolk and kind of spreads out. And when you just heat it in a microwave, not microwave, so in an oven, about 180 for, for three minutes or five minutes, or normal gas, or cook, uh, you know, cooking uh, kind of platform for about three to four minutes, you're done. So that's the egg, and I'm sweating. And that's egg with a twist of Northern India, Eastern India, presented the Spanish way. Enjoy.